Prince of Persia, Sands of Time remake, I mean Forgotten Sands, short game review. The unnamed prince goes to his brother Malik's kingdom and finds it under siege. Malik, not wanting to lose his city, unleashes an army that he thought would work for him, but instead it turns on him and you are now tasked with fighting off the hordes of sand creatures and defeating Ratosh, the leader. The graphics are improved, but not that much, and there are some kind of annoying glitches. The game is streamlined, as with other recent Prince of Persia games, and it takes a lot of the fun out of it. The game really isn't challenging, except for a few points. Near the end, it does get pretty challenging. But most of the time, you can tell where you're going, you can tell how to complete the puzzles, and it's basically just doing it. The game does have a, an appropriate length, just like the others. It'll take you two to three days of constant playing to get through it. The fighting system is improved and it's very versatile. It was quite versatile before, but now it's really very useful for fighting off the literally hordes of enemies. You do fight dozens of enemies at times, typically about 20 or so in one bout. And yes, they do tend to all have good AI. They do all tend to attack you and not do the cliché thing of waiting around for the others to attack so you can take them on one by one. Unfortunately, they're not that much of a challenge because they're really easy to fight against. You get some magic powers, but the ones for combat really don't see that much use because combat is so easy, and the ones outside of combat basically just mean you have to press a different button for some of the puzzles. They are somewhat visually interesting though, and some of their use is pretty cool. The basic story is very basic, and you're not going to remember this game for all that long after completing it.